Lord, we love you. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord promised that he would do a new thing. Hallelujah. Look to the person that you're sitting beside and tell the person, I love the Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I love the Lord. And because I love the Lord, I love you too. I love you, I love you. Hey, Mama Sandala, the Shandala, the Sea. Oh, she can't do it alone, the Sandala, the Sea. Hallelujah, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The love of God shed abroad in our hearts. The love of God shed abroad in our hearts. Jesus. God's love. God's love. Let's get our Bibles for a moment. We welcome each and every one tonight in the sanctuary and around the globe. Mm. On this 22nd day of the month of June, 2022. Mm. A day that the Lord has made. You see, people believe that the Lord only made seven days. That's what they think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. The Lord made multi millions, multiple millions of days. We give them seven. We give them seven names. We keep repeating Amen. Sunday, Monday. That's what we do. So we can keep up with our finite mind. But the Lord made millions and millions and billions of days. Oh, ancient of days. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, he is. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. And we will. <laughs> and we, will, uh, we are rejoicing. And yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, we mm. are. Every day you do, you know, every day you wake up, it's a new day. Amen. New day. It's a new day. New mercies. That the Lord had made. Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not an old day back in no. Adam and Eve. It's a new day. It's a new day. Mm. Only God knows what He has in store for your new day tomorrow. Yeah, mm. Be not weary and well doing. For in due season you shall weep if you faint not. In due season. I don't worry about tomorrow because I know who holds tomorrow. And because he holds tomorrow, I can face tomorrow. Mm -hmm. mm. So, so God, don't give up today because your new day is coming. Amen. A day that you have never seen Same before. before. Oh, you may have the same name. The it might be a Thursday, but you have never seen this Thursday that's coming before. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God for each and every one of you. Let us get to our Bibles. We, we want to talk about identified with Christ. Amen. Identified. That's past tense, right? That's what we're talking about. That you should identify, but you are identified with him. Good God Almighty. 
identified with Christ. The Bible says, God says, that Jesus is the head of the church. Yes, he is. And because he's the head of the church, it's Luke, and we are the body. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, I thank you. If he's the head, mm -hmm. and we are the body, mm -hmm. uh, so somebody said, I need you one minute. And the Bible said we are all me members of one body. Amen. So Sister Willis have a head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a compliment. Yes. Yes. Love it. And she have a body. Amen. I want to see Jesus as her head. Jesus. Mm. And we, the members of the world, is the body. Jesus. The head is not over here. No. And the body is over there somewhere. Yes. But every time you see Willis, her body is identified with her. Oh, somebody help me, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Because, amen, the Lord brought you. From over there. Give me that scripture that was read tonight, Mr. Darling. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. Uh, he said, You are a chosen generation. Yes, I am. Amen. Who I am. Now, we used to be over there. Yes. But God chose you, amen. And you are a royal priesthood. Yes. And you're what? Holy nation. Uh, tell somebody I'm holy. I'm holy. Uh, uh, come on, identify. Tell somebody I'm holy. I'm holy. You're a holy nation and you are peculiar. Mm. That you should show forth, tell me the body, show forth the praise of him who has called you out. Uh, you see, when you're in darkness, you don't know what you're doing. You, you can't see the truth. But he called you out of darkness and he brought you into Good God. Into his marvelous light. Not any light, right? Into his marvelous light. Now, now look at it, verse 10. Mm -hmm. He said, in time past, I want you to see clearly. You've got to be very careful of identifying yourself with the past. That's it. Hallelujah. That's the past. And that's who you are in Christ now. That is it, Bishop. Oh, somebody help me praise God. In time past, we were sinners. Were. Were. Oh, in time past. Yes. But now we are in Christ. Yes. You cannot be a sinner in Christ. Oh, somebody help me give God some. In time past, we, we were not a people. Uh-huh. Because we were only in darkness. Mm -hmm. But we are now a people of God. Of God. Mm. Which had not, when we were over there, we did not receive mercy. But now, have we have obtained mercy. That's it. Uh, thank you. Oh, somebody help me, praise God. Hallelujah. Identify with Christ. Yes. Now look at these scriptures. Look at Romans 6, the third and the fourth verse. Be very careful, saints of God. I used to be a sponsor of a, a former drug addict. Sponsoring a person that, you know, when they feel like using, they will call you. Uh -huh. And no matter what time of the day, what time of the night, you're supposed to respond. Because you're the sponsor, you are responsible yeah, like to do whatever it takes to prevent them from using again. Mm -hmm. So when he go to his AA, that meeting, this is what they told him, told them to say, I am a drug addict mm -hmm. and I've been clean for five years. Mm -hmm. I said, sir, something is wrong with that, please. Yes, yes. I don't care what the system is trying to tell you. 
Don't identify yourself as Amen. a drug addict anymore. No more. Who God Almighty. Amen. You used to be. But now you're clean. Uh, how many of you are clean tonight? Amen. Is there any clean person in the house? Hallelujah. That we used to be sinners. But now we are clean. He said, no, you not. He said, don't you know that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? He said, don't you know that? That when Christ died, you identified with him in death? He said, therefore, we are buried with him. Oh, tell somebody identified with Jesus. Not only we died with him, but we were buried with him by baptism into death. Amen. That like as Christ was raised up from the Amen. dead. Good God Almighty. When is coming again? Oh, God, I thank you. Glory to God. Oh, I need a chief for you. I don't want you to get to come on. She was, she, she represented Christ. Yes. Buried in death. She was dead and buried. So we identified ourselves with Christ. We too died and we were buried. Jesus. Like as Christ was raised up. From the dead. Come on, raise up, raise up. From the dead, by the glory of the Father, even so we also. We are raised up and we are walking in the newness of life. Uh, tell somebody this is a new life. Uh, somebody shouted, This is a new life. Hallelujah. The old man has been crucified, amen. And now this is a new life. Oh God, somebody has to praise God. Amen. Amen. You were dead, buried, and resurrected in Christ. Uh, thank you, Mr. Willis. Tell somebody identified with Christ. You got so many people that still want to identify themselves, amen, with the past. Never died. Uh, you, you can't be a Christian. You cannot be a child of God if you never die. Uh, so, mm, we were buried with him. Uh, is that verse 4? Uh, and give us 2 Corinthians 5 and 21. Look at who you are. Look at who you are. He had made him, God the Father made Jesus to be sin for us. Mm -hmm. Good God. Remember the Bible said the wages of sin is what? Death. Death. But, the gift of God. but the gift of God is eternal life. Mm -hmm. So Sister Luke now, all the sin that we did in the past, mm -hmm. in the present, and in the future. Mm -hmm. All the sin that encompass our life here on this earth. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ was made to be sin for us. In other words, he took all of your sins upon himself. He knew no sin. And he did that so that we will be made the righteousness of God in him. Uh, uh, you are the righteousness of God. That is it. Not you will be. Not you can be. But you are what? The righteousness of God. When you are the righteousness of God, amen, you have the ability to stand in the presence of God amen. without feeling inferior amen. or feeling any guilt. Ah, let me repeat that. Mm. When you are the right, because you are the righteousness of God, amen, you have the ability to stand in the presence of God without feeling inferior or feeling any kind of a guilt. Amen. Because you are the righteousness of God. Jesus Christ took all of your sins upon him. Yes. 
Oh, tell someone identified with Jesus. Identified with Jesus. Uh, look at Romans 12, chapter verse 3. How many of you have faith? Amen. All of God's children. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according as God had dealt to every man. There is every man there or some man? Every man and woman the measure of faith. Don't ever testify. Mm -hmm. You see the scripture, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, yeah, uh -huh. you got to be very careful when you read that and when you hear people minister that because sometimes they will minister on that saying that you don't have faith. But if you can only have a little faith mm -hmm. and because amen, people amen, sometimes don't really get it, they're praying and asking God for just a little mustard seed faith when God already gave you the measure. Right. How big is your measure? Right. Mm. Tell somebody I got faith. I got faith. Uh, you ain't saying nothing. Tell somebody I got faith. 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 Mm. Mm. And because you got faith, amen, you have the power in you, amen, to cast out devils. Amen. Because you got faith, amen, you got the power in you to tread upon scorpions. Amen. You got the power in you to tread upon serpents. Amen. You got the power in you to tell the devil back up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, somebody show that good faith. Go, oh, mama, son, the little sin. God's body is not a weak link. No way. God's body is not an amputee. Amen. God's body is complete. Amen. Good God Almighty. God gave every man, amen, everything that pertained to life and godliness. Amen. Everything that you need, amen, is on the inside of you because you're connected to the head. Amen. amen. I am the vine, you are the branches. Oh God, somebody help me, praise God. Amen. And every branch in me, good God Almighty, every branch that don't bear fruit, he cut off. But how many of you are bearing fruits tonight? Oh, tell somebody I'm bearing fruits. I'm bearing fruits. I'm bearing fruits. I'm bearing fruits. Amen, Jesus. He has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Uh, look at 1 Corinthians 1 and 24. You know the scripture that if any man need wisdom, let him ask of God. Because he'll breathe it not. But he give it to all them, amen, liberally. Do you know that as a child of God, you no longer have to pray for wisdom? Mm. God, I thank you. Thank I'll you. tell somebody identified with Christ. Identified with Christ. Uh, a lot of prayers that some people are praying are unnecessary. What do I mean by that? You don't pray for faith. Because God gave you already faith. You don't pray for joy. Because God already gave you joy. Uh, let, let, let's see if we remember the fruit of the Spirit. Uh, how many of you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you? All of us. Every man ha that has not the Spirit of Christ, he's none of his. So the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, love joy, joy, what? Peace, peace mm -hmm. long-suffering, long which is patience, go ahead. Kindness, kindness, kindness gentleness, gentleness yes. goodness, meekness, faith, self-control, right? With this temperance. Yes. Ah, put that up for me, Mr. Darling. Galatians 5 and 22. Give me that. Somebody's saying I need to see it in the book. There's not nine fruits. There's one fruit. With nine parts. One, one, one fruit. 
But the fruit, the fruit one fruit of the spirit is what? Love. Tell somebody I got love. I got love. I got love. Hey mama Sally. The fruit of the spirit is what? The next one. Joy. Tell somebody I got joy. The next one. Peace. Tell somebody I got peace. Long suffering. Tell somebody I got long suffering. Gentleness. I got gentleness. Goodness. Tell somebody I got goodness. Faith. Tell somebody I got faith. I got faith. Meekness. Tell somebody I got meekness. I got meekness. Temperance. Tell somebody I got temperance. Against such there is no law. Oh God, thank you. You can't pass a law to say don't have self-control. You can't pass a law to say don't have love. You can't pass a law to say don't have patience. God said against such there is no law. Say so don't pray for patience. So those of you that are on your knees say, Lord, give me patience. You're, you're wasting your time on your knees. God I will say, look, I gave you patience. You just got to let it work. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can I take a James and say, count it all joy. Yes. Uh, when it for the diverse testings, knowing that the child of your faith okay. work in patience. Yes. But that patience has its perfect work. Yeah. Mm, so you can be entire or complete, lacking nothing. Lacking nothing. You know, the people that prefer patience, sister Claudette. It's people, amen, that don't want to exercise patience. That's what it is. I can't wait. You got it. You can wait. Of course you can wait. We're so accustomed to the McDonald's and the Chick-fil-A. Not that Chick-fil-A. They like too long. You got to wait long for show. Wendy's and Burger King's, amen. You know, I drive by those chick fil Those people, they really exercise patience. Yeah. Yes. They really exercise patience for, for what they want. Yes. And they will drive for miles. Yes. Uh, you, you do have patience. I, I can do it if I want to. Yeah. <laughs> if I want it, I can do it, right? Yes. I went there a few times. I went to the parking lot and I walked right in and come back out. But... You can do it. Tell someone you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You have it. You have it. First Corinthians 1 and 21. We don't pray for wisdom. That scripture that asks of God for wisdom, that's, that don't apply to you. Because you're saved now. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world, uh, that's not the one I want. In the first Corinthians 1 and what? 24. 24. 24, I'm sorry, Mr. Don. Give me 24. But unto them which are called. You know you're called, right? Amen. God called you from over there. Darkness. Yes. And, yes. Mm, he called you out of darkness. Yes. Amen. Some people think when you're called, oh, I'm called to be a prophet. That's what they think. I'm called to be an apostle. Right. Oh, you know I'm called. I'm called to be a missionary. No, he called you out of darkness. That's what he called you out of. Amen. To show forth his praises. And anyhow you want to use you, it is God which worketh in you. Both to will and to do of his good pleasure. He called you out. Just like he called Lazarus out. He didn't give Lazarus no ministry. Just come on out of there. Come out. God Almighty. Come forth. Everybody want to come forth with a big badge. As he that did something. You see some folks in church. And God called them. All of us came out of over there. Darkness. And they want a big badge. And they want a trophy. Because God delivered them from drugs after 20 years. And God delivered them from smoking. And they want to stand up there and applaud. People applaud them. But all of us were sinners. Amen. Mm, shaped in iniquity. And the same God that called out of the job house, amen, he called somebody out of whatever they were doing, amen. But the whole thing, he called us out of darkness. He called us out of sin. So you ain't gonna get no big badge over somebody. No, I mean, it don't work like that. Unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, 
You see, some Jews don't want to admit they were called. Because they think they always were there. That's what they think. So, uh, some people think they were always there. Both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God. And Christ is the wisdom of God. Amen. Mm, tell somebody I got wisdom. I got wisdom. Mm. Christ in you gives you the ability to make the right decisions. That's wisdom. You have the wisdom of God on the inside. So you don't go to the Father and ask him for wisdom anymore. Christ is the wisdom Amen. that God gave from above and come and live on the inside of you. They have earthly wisdom, mm -hmm. but we get a wisdom from above who is Christ himself. Uh, tell somebody identified with Christ. Mm. Look at St. John, the 13th chapter, and the 35th verse. He said, by this, by this. so we want to know what is the this. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Luke, Lord, what is the this? By this, by this. Wow, we're waiting patiently. Shall all men know that you are my disciples? If you have love one to another. Amen. You see that this is the witness? That this is, if you have love one to another. Amen. Because if you're still hating your brother, you're still in darkness. That's what the Bible said. Mm -hmm. mm. We are children of the night. We're children of the day. Uh, you know, sometimes we call the scripture weeping and joyful night. Yes. But some people don't get it. But joy coming in the morning. Yes. So some people are waiting. Well, I'm just waiting for my joy to come. No, no, you got joy already. Yeah. Yeah. When we say weeping and joyful night, amen, that means the night is over. And you have the joy in the inside, the joy that passes all understanding, amen. The joy that cannot be explained, this joy that I have, the word didn't give it to me. And the word can't take it away from me, hallelujah. Uh, this shall all men know that you are my disciples, you are my followers, you are my students, you are connected to the head. If you have love one to another. If we can identify with Christ in demonstrating love to this lost world. Wow. People will know that we are really Jesus' disciples. Amen. Mm. We used to believe, we used to believe that as long as we see people going to church, the Jesus disciples. That's what we used to believe. Wow. And some people have some big, you know, those people with the bigger Bibles. <laughs> you remember those years ago? Some of you are too young. But years ago, like I said, this podium, when they walk in the church on the podium, this used to be a big, giant Bible up there. Yeah. Some churches, yeah. They still have that? A big broad, broader than this. Yes, big, big broad Bible. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they read it. They read it. it just opened right there. It open. But it, it, it's symbolic of the, this is where the word is preached from. Yes. Wow. And then somebody make a pulpit. They call it a pulpit. Uh, to pull people out of the pit. Amen. Pulpit. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I write that down. Yeah. 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 Pull you out of the pit. Yes. Good God Almighty. There's so much symbolism, symbolism in, the, in the church. Yes. But some people now, they used to go to church with some big Bibles and they symbolize it. Oh, I'm deep. Yes. <laughs> I'm real deep. Yes. Yes. And they got a big Bible. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that if you're reading it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it if you're understanding what he's saying. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Yeah. Mm. Good God Almighty. Yeah. 
And I got some young ministers, I mean, the moment they get a minister license, they walk around all town with their collar on. Yes. All on the beach you have on the collar. <laughs> and the voice change. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the voice change, amen. And the, and the, and the one to prophesy over you because amen, the one to identify, amen. But we're not going that type of identification. Amen. Demonstrate love one to another. Amen. Let somebody know, amen, that your love is coming from the heart. Amen. amen. All men will know. You remember those bumper stickers we used to have? A stick at the back of the car. Wow. Wow. Let all men know. People will know that you're Christ's disciples when you demonstrate love one to another. And that love is not only for born again believers, because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He so loved the world that he died for the world. So saints of God, our job here on earth, our mission, amen, is to identify ourselves with Christ to go out there and let people see God through us. Amen. Oh, somebody help me, praise God. Amen. Mm. Amen. The writer said, it is no longer I, but Christ, but Christ that lives on the inside of us. Amen. You know, sometimes I stand up here, and I, I just want to tell some people, don't even come to church. Because you're coming to waste time. Why come? Amen. It's not serious. You, you'll be surprised at the thoughts. That I when people just come to play, this is not the place. That's it. I'm talking about grown folks. I'm not talking about little kids that don't understand it. I'm talking about grown folks. Amen. That is, well, I'm just going out there because, you know. No, no. Come, amen, because, amen, you want to identify with Jesus. Amen. Oh, somebody help me praise God. When you, when you open your mouth and sing a song, amen, you're singing a song because you want to identify with Jesus. Oh, somebody help me praise God. Mm. All on your job, you want to identify with Jesus. You are his disciples. Mm. Give me St. John 15 and 8, then we're going to close. St. John 15 and 8. You all remember the fruit of the Spirit? Yes. Okay, there are nine parts. Let me see. We're going to get one. We're going to come around and get one each. You ready? Okay. You ready, Mr. Luke? Yeah. You don't get the first one. You... No, he, look at it. Hearing, and this is how my father get glory. Amen. You remember those days when we said, give God glory? Everybody said, glory. Wait, wait. And this is say, glory. Give God glory. Glory. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Oh, give God glory. Yeah. But hearing, this is how my father is glorified, that you bear much, much fruit. By bearing much fruit, that's how he wants us to be his disciples. The first part of the fruit is what? Love. By bearing much love, Amen. Mm, we're bringing glory to the father. The second part is what, Sister Luke? Joy. Joy. This is a people church, and mm. you like somebody just beat them with some kind of a whip or something. The joy of the Lord. Nice. Oh, Father, get glory. What will be in my joy? Amen. Demonstrate joy. This joy that you have, amen. You are so you have so much joy that the Lord called you out of darkness. You have so much joy that you did not have to pay the price for your sins. You have so much joy, amen, that you are the righteousness of God. You got so much joy that you have wisdom with Christ on the inside of you. You have so much joy that you are peculiar. You are royal priesthood, amen. You have so much joy. So we have love and we have joy. Who's going to cover the third one? Peace. Somebody said peace. 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 
Our Father is glorified. Will there be a much peace? Come on, Sister Willis, I need it again. I don't have time to take all these flowers, but we're going to stick. I tell you why. So we are going to stick a love here, a joy here, and a peace. So she's behaving. So Sister Claudette, come up to Sister Willis now. Come on, Sister Claudette. And she look at the tree. And she say, love. Wow. So that's a person that she can communicate with. She say, love. You see love, right? Amen. You will see love in her? Okay. You see joy in her? Yes. What about the other person over there? Did you see joy in that person? That other person somewhere. <laughs> Next one. Long suffering. Long suffering with his patience. Amen. Well, maybe you don't know it that much. So let, let's get her cousin. C come on, cousin. Chelsea. Chelsea. Okay, so Claude, you can. For Chelsea, leave it. Do she have patience? Do she exercise patience? Amen. Not because you're in church now. <laughs> 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 wow, so Chelsea see patience in her. Amen. What's the next one? Gentleness. Wow, is she gentle? Yes. You're not sure, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, it's okay. You have you got you got five, right? Okay, let's go to the next tree. Okay, thank you. Come on, Gabby. Gabby, you're the next tree. She said, I better pass this test. Now your mom knows it more than us. What's the next one? Gentleness. Don't we did that already, right? Yeah. Goodness. Yep. Goodness. Mom, does she have she have that? I see a lot of good. Mom says she have a lot of good. Goodness. <laughs> no, you're not receiving anything. You're just you're just being with we we're the one picking from you. We we're picking, we're picking goodness. What's the next one? Faith. Faith. Does she have faith, mom? Yes. Mom says God's faith. You see. Herein is our Father glorified that you be a much. Fruit. So God is getting glory out of your life by what you are bearing. Mm -hmm. The love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering, all of that. All of that What's the next one? Fruit. Meekness. After, Meekness. Meekness. Is, she, is she not meek enough? Is she meek? <laughs> Mama, Mama, I'm not sure. <laughs> what do you say? You have meekness, right? Do you need to bear some more of that? Maybe it's a little. Okay. Okay. So now that branch need to come out some more. Yeah, that branch. So people can see it from a distance. Hallelujah. What's the next one? Temperance. Temperance is self control. Mom, did you have self control? Wow. You're glorified. God, God, God. Amen. Come on, give them a round of applause. Mm. So if I call you, I call you, I call myself. Maybe one part of it. Maybe the love branch is way over there. Stretching eight feet over there. But maybe the long suffering of the patience is only two inches. So now the Lord said, I want you to be a much. So now I, I got to push my patience, my long suffering until it will come eight feet. Because I want all parts of the food to be out there. The sewing. Mm -hmm. all, all parts. Yeah. And it's a self check. Yeah, self check. Yeah. Like we check ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because maybe our faith is four inches when it can be eight feet. Good God. Maybe our gentleness is only one foot when it can be eight feet. So the Lord is saying, he get glory when we bear much fruit. Don't stop at the four inch patience. Don't stop at the one foot faith. Mm. Amen. Don't stop, amen, at a two inch meekness. But bear much of it. Good God Almighty. 
Mm. They planted a tree in front of our house a few years ago. And when they planted a tree, they put some support and tied the tree to the support. And, but after a while, they came and removed the support. And the small tree now is way up there. That one day was driving and the branch was hanging over to I just cut off a piece of the branches. I said, no, you're, you're spinning too wide now. You're blocking something. I looked around to see better. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I always say nothing. Hallelujah. Mm. So your love must grow so big Hallelujah. that the world wants to cut you off, but ain't going to cut you off. Amen. The more they come against you, the more you spread your love with. The more you spread your faith. Amen. When the enemy comes like a flood, you spread a little wider. Oh God, somebody let me praise God. Identified with Jesus. The more they try to stop him, amen, the bigger he goes. Hallelujah, Jesus. But even when they kill him, the Lord said, had they known, if they known him, they would have killed me. Okay, they thought they were going to bury me. Amen. amen. Uh, but they don't know that when I go down into the grave, amen, I'm going to come out with more power. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to destroy the death. They shall leave me alone. Amen. I already demonstrate power over nature. I demonstrate power over gravity. I walk on water. Amen. I demonstrate power over luck. I multiply loaves and fish. And now they kill me. I'm going to demonstrate power over death. Amen. You too have that power over all the works of the devil. Amen. Identified Hallelujah. with Christ. Amen. Christ is the power of God. Hallelujah. And he's the wisdom of God. And he's living on the inside of you. There is nothing that a devil can throw at you. Nothing. That you are not uh, you are not already a conqueror of. Amen. You're more than conquerors. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Almighty God, we thank you. We praise your name. And we magnify your name. We thank you, Lord, that we are identified with you in the death, burial, and resurrection. We are the righteousness of God in you, Christ. We have all the faith that we need. We have the wisdom which is you in us. Oh God, we thank you that you called us out of darkness into your marvelous light to show forth your praises. It is you, God, that worketh in us, both to will and to do of your good pleasure. You gave us the desires of our heart, and you also performed those desires through us so you can be glorified. You gave us the fruit of the Spirit, O oh God, and you ask us to demonstrate the fruit to bring glory to you. So Lord, today, Lord Jesus, we say not our will, but let your will be done in our life. O oh God, we thank you that we are part of your body. And Lord, we will forever give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, somebody give God a praise.